When you compare old men to WA soils, you look at things like they're a bit fragile, a bit crusty, a bit difficult to manage, tend to suffer from acidity in the gut, poor water retention, and often infertile. I have been a soil scientist for a quarter of a century. I love the job because I get to do a whole range of things. But the best thing is, I actually love to get out into the field and I love to get my hands dirty. Nothing better than actually getting down a pit and uh, showing off our marvellous soil. Today, we're going to be heading out into the field and we're going to be running a small training workshop on how to measure and monitor soil carbon in the ground. When you roll up to the farm gate and you cast your eye across the paddock, you use um, certain observation skills, I suppose, to pick up features in the landscape. So you know that if you've got a depression or if you've got a hilltop or if you've got a slope, you'll have different soil features in, the, in those landscapes. Soil science is about not only looking at it, but getting your hands on it and testing it as well. So this is an ideal opportunity to take a group of people, take them out in the field, show them what I do, show them how to measure the soil, how to set up a sampling site, how to uh, monitor the ground, how to record information. When we get out to the paddock, we're going to be demonstrating and teaching people how to measure their soil pH, their soil texture, measuring soil compaction. Soil texturing is one of those really fun type sort of activities. So what we do is we get a, a little lump of soil, we put it in somebody's hand, put in a little bit of uh, moisture with it, and then we do this thing called a ribbon test. We stretch the soil out between our thumb and our forefinger so that the length of the ribbon determines how much clay is in the soil. Soil characterization is like pulling out the individual elements uh, of the soil. So if you can imagine a good wine, you're doing the same sort of thing with the soil. You're imagining the taste and you're considering the aroma and uh, you're looking at the colour, the depth and a whole range of other things. If you can imagine lifting a good glass of wine up to your face and having a good smell of the bouquet, you can also imagine that you're sampling a great soil. Soils are the fabric of my life. I, I love soils. I'm really passionate about extending information about soils, landscapes, soil features to regional communities. And I hope by the end of the day, um, we'll have a, a graduating class of mini soil scientists.